All right, guys, welcome back to more Persona 5. In the last video, we just gotten through uh, Futaba's palace. And as you can see on the top right, we're waiting for Futaba to recover. Uh, just booting up the game again, I uh, I might have a clue about who Medjet is based off of that. Don't want to uh, spoil it or say it just in case I'm wrong, but um, thinking we've already met Medjet, maybe. I guess we'll find out. Um, apparently, you can actually study at these boots. Probably won't be able to now. Hey. So yeah, so you can <laughs> increase your intelligence by doing that. But yeah, I don't think we could do anything else. Hey. Go ahead and go to sleep. And apparently you can watch the TV in your room. And there's like quizzes. If you get the answers correct, that could increase your intelligence, so. And apparently uh, I saw a video game system that you can buy and play on the TV. And if you do that, you can increase your charm by doing that. So that's pretty cool. Checking up on Shio. I think I want to go see how Shio is doing. Do you think you could spare some time to talk to me before I head over there? I could do it right now if that works for you. I'm eating now, but maybe I should respawn later. Jeez. Stop checking your phone while you, you're eating. <laughs> Just concentrate on your food. Mm. I don't think you like that. Why are you in the back? <laughs> Come on, let's finish eating and then send a reply once we go upstairs. Alright, I feel like my bond with her will grow stronger soon, so let's hang out with her. Your lifesaver? I totally don't know what kind of gift I should bring for a shield. Oh, don't ask me that. I mean, you'd think she would know better than me. Real? Hey, I have some big news. I The double cream from that famous crepe shop. I, did, I know how to say that, but just not at the moment. It's half off right now. Oh, but I probably can't take a, yeah, one of those in the hospital. I really want one though. Do you think maybe Shiho would want one too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she does. In that case, I'll buy two. Though I guess she might have rehab today though. They probably wouldn't even let her eat it. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Shiho started her physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of, of schedule. I think it's because I told her about how I want to get stronger. She said she was going to start working hard too. I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet though. Oh, hold on. What now? <laughs> oh, that's not good. Sorry. Something just came up that was from my agency. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap up soon. I'm gonna head over now to fill in. Let's go! It's pretty close though. Wanna come with? Actually, let's just go. I'll race you there. I mean, if I have to. Sure. We arrive at the meeting spot. It looks like they're having a pre-shoot briefing. On. I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I just... Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> All right. It really wasn't that big of a deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika. And please, no honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads of more experience. On. <laughs> Alright, Mika. It feels a little weird saying it like that. 
Oh, and you don't need to use Senpai with me. Anyway, uh, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, On, you're so nice. <laughs> hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routines, stretches. Huh? Routines, you mean like singing in the shower? Oh, is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? I've been looking all over for a place to import some good organic green almonds. Plus, I'm getting super tired of eating quino. Do I need to, like, boil it in hard water or something? Mm -hmm. Um, almonds. I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. And hard water. Isn't it kind of tough to boil ice? <laughs> Do you weigh yourself? Of, of course, once a year for the health examinations at school. So you're gonna keep it all a secret from me, huh? I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. Oh, um... That's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modeling is just like a hobby for me. What? On, that's so horrible. What do you mean you don't care about mauling for these guys? You said that, On? Oh, wait. <laughs> I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it, you're all here. But you guys work so much harder than me, and I'm still the one getting comforted. Wait! On, the truth is, we had both of you, both you and Mika, come down as substitutes for our missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're not really interested... Hey, I didn't... Don't worry, I, I can do it alone. I read the concept docs on my way here. Hopefully you can't hear the car in the background. Hey. What? You faker. <laughs> You're so mean, On. Do you really hate me that much? Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you're good to go, Mika. Sorry about all this, On. We won't be needing you today. We'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though, and even throw in a little extra for your trouble. The magazine staff left for the photo shoot. <sighs> I really screwed that up. Uh, I, I don't like either one of these choices. Uh, she's amazing, huh? Like sarcastically. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe it's because deep down I'm not actually that invested in modeling. She sees straight through that. Anyway, I totally ruined the shoot. I don't think they even started, really. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? Uh, it had grace, I guess. Huh? Do you think? Oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. I don't know, though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. Tell me more. <laughs> Listen carefully. The key is, you don't actually cry. I guess I figured that much. Yes! Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability to, to our advantage in the metaverse. I'll turn my failure today into positive energy going forward. I sense a heightened motivation. already at level 5, I guess. Alright, Crocodile Tears means she has a chance to force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. Alright. All right. It's during the palaces and stuff. Alright, speaking of the metaverse, I'm gonna try super hard in my work with the Phantom Thieves too. But for now, I should go stop by and see Shiho at the hospital. Thanks. We can't go? Bye. Like, what? Guess not. Uh, 
Ah, you're back. Alright, hey, is Futaba still asleep? It's been a whole day already. You're way too impatient. Calm down. <laughs> oh, we just have to wait. Yes, let us drink some tea and calm our minds. Oh, some rice crackers with the tea would be lovely as well. What? <laughs> I am most certainly in the mood. Anyway, we should wait a little longer for Futaba to wake up. For something salty today? I understand why you guys feel nervous, but we'll just have to wait for now. Is there another message? Oh. The fortune teller. No test today, instead I have a request for you. Will you please hear me out? I feel I can become closer with her. Alright. Thanks to the uh, persona I have. You agree to a deal with her? Be sure to accept her invitations until you gain her trust, okay? Alright, we'll go right away then. Thank you so much, can we talk after I close up shop? I'll contact you again later for when to meet up. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, Majima-san. Uh, it's me, apparently. Honestly, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. Do they? But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? Uh, do you want to test it again? Well, of course, but I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet, there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um... How can I become one of those people? Alright, so you had to choose the right answer to like increase your relationship with her. And so I'm pretty sure on this one you had to pick trust in yourself. What? Hopefully that means I got it right. <laughs> trust in myself instead of my fortune telling. I've never thought of it that way before. The city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country. It was a small traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Guess tell me more. <laughs> During the winter, it it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Now explicitly, of course. Oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village there, I. It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this to this city. It means nothing to me now. I doubt that. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. The chairman, oh, um... Don't worry about that, just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. I think it'll work. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least until I can manage to change my fate. 
Oh, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort into my fortune telling for you. Alright, where are we at with her? Level 4, alright. Alright. Well then. Thank you for today. Until next time. Sunday Underground. Oh. All right, there is like a laundry mat or something. I can figure out where it's at. All right. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, didn't you have something dirty? Why don't you try washing it with this? Using the laundry mat will cause time to pass, but you'll be able to clean dirty equipment you found. Each cycle costs 200 yen. Up to four items be can be washed in a cycle. What item you receive is up to luck. Be sure to use the laundry mat when you find dirty equipment. Alright, well, there's four things. Alright, this is the last thing I found, so let's try this, I guess. All. all right nothing else will fit in there do you want to run the machine now all right so maybe that'll give us some better armor hey, hey. that we can use in battle this thing is shaking a lot well I hope this will wash clean Another scorcher. Can't we catch it, Brick? Who is it now? <laughs> hey, Asura. It's on again. Now who's bugging who? Hey, I heard some company's info got leaked. Yes, it seems the private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. It's caused quite the stir. People are wondering if Medjet is behind it. Uh, that wasn't the promise, I guess. Indeed, I doubt they do anything before the deadline they impose on us. This seems to be just a minor thing, quite different from what Medjet has done up until now. Is that so? So it wasn't Medjet. Damn, that stuff freaked me out. It's honestly kind of hard not to have a knee-jerk reaction to this stuff nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. All right, can we go out? What? So, underground walkway in Sabuya, there's this juice stand here, and apparently that increases your stats or whatever, intelligence and courage, guts, whatever, kindness, um, charm, that type of stuff. A drink stand, huh? It's a, it's a little pricier than other places. If they have special drinks, it may not be a bad idea to try one. Welcome, we got fresh fruit juice. What's that? Special drinks? This is what we have today. Oh, I wonder what it is. It's incredibly bitter, but it strengthens your body. It's called, yeah, whatever. 
Every week we have a different kind of drink. What do you want? All right, yeah, it will increase your charm. All right, you really need to get pumped up and tell yourself it's for your health. Nice chugging. That's how you do it. <laughs> Good job, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I was watching you try so hard. All right. All right. Okay. Now that you're healthy, let's go somewhere else. And that doesn't like a uh, use your time either. So it's a good thing. It does cost money though, but. to go study in that diner? Yeah, I guess so. All right, visiting the diner will cause time to pass. Studying here will improve your knowledge and dining in can improve your guts and other stats. Visiting the diner costs m money, but your knowledge will greatly increase when customers are fewer. Try studying here on rainy days. Hmm. You do have money on you, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and go in. I don't know, I'm kind of like, <laughs> not losing my voice, but it's kind of hard to read everything. It's pretty busy around here. Welcome, may I take your order? I recommend our new item, the fruity. Yeah, charm, definitely do that. That one does kindness and that one does guts, so charm. I got it, I'll be right back with your order. Fruits inside tea, they're both fine on their own, you think? Oh. Is your skin looking healthier and moisturized? Don't tell me that fruit tea is working. Hmm. Still not suave. All right. Hey. Looks like you were able to focus even with all this noise. <laughs> So I guess that means like because there were two of them you got two points up but you know still not enough to increase the knowledge because I think you could see with this star how there are kind of dots on each star on each like uh, corner of each star so we're just level two I guess on knowledge I guess I don't know all right want to head back well that should be enough for today come on let's go home Huh, who could that be at this hour? I'll be intruding on you tomorrow. Your house manages to be cool despite this heat. There's a book I want to read and should something happen, I would be ready in case we must assemble. If it works with your schedule, we could hang out. Until then, good day. Yusuke is coming here tomorrow, huh? He's definitely making the most of his summer vacation. I don't know about that. Apparently hanging out with Yusuke increases your charm as well. Alright, he's going back to bed. character. One of your friends is here to visit. Sounds like Yusuke's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Hey! Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about what Mishima told you? But you mind your own business. I'm on the... <laughs> uh, where is he? Alright. Hi. I've been waiting here for you. Oh, and I brought an art book. I would like you 
to read with you. Might be able to prove my charm if I read a book with him. Furthermore, this may be a good chance to deepen my bond with him. If we are not planning to infiltrate today, why don't we search for ideas between the pages of this book? <laughs> Alright, perfect. I knew you would agree. In that case, I will head to your room. Alright, the weather is getting rather warm these days. Now is the season to enjoy shaved ice. You should buy an air conditioner. If you do, I promise to come visit you here every day. That's why I don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not the third one. <laughs> uh, just go to the library, I guess. I see. Hmm, I see. I didn't think of that. Yes, I could go there to escape the heat and also peruse some art books. I read art books with him while enduring the heat. The heat made it tough to think normally. Before I knew it, I was thinking more outside the box. So, three things there. All right. You have my thanks. Ah, look at the time. Now then. My throat is quite dry. It calls out for the soothing warmth of coffee, perhaps due to the lingering aroma of this room. Could I possibly bother you to make a fresh cup for me? Hmm. Probably not, sorry. <laughs> I see. In that case, I shall retire to my home for the evening. Let us I mean, part ways here. I'm hoping I can do something during the evening. I must express my gratitude for your escorting me here. Now then, fare thee well. Please don't say that's the end of the day. All right, good. Ah, you're back. So apparently, <laughs> I looked this up. Obviously, uh, the spa or the. The bathhouse, if you go there Monday and Thursdays, it will increase your charm. So, if I can figure out where it's at. Wow! This is the bathhouse. Hmm, it's in such a secluded area. Cost time to pass, and it's 500 yen, but increases your uh, charm. The effect you get from the bath depends on factors such as the day of the week, so it's Monday, Monday and Thursday are the best days, and the weather, so if it was raining it would be even better I think. Yeah, just what I said. <laughs> and yeah. Do I smell a medicinal bath? Oh. That's gonna feel good. Now, I don't think a cat will like a bath. Alright, we'll check this place out. Alright, this mint bath is warming my body. You came out of there looking really refreshed. These medicinal baths must be quite effective. Oh, and you'll smell good too. You're looking great. So, three things there. Still not suave. All right. Wanna head back? Come on, we should go home before you get cold. I thought it was like hot outside. We could try the burger challenge. That's supposed to help with different things. Don't know if we've done that before. Welcome to the Big Bang Burger. Open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Due to popularity of the Big Bang Challenge, we are offering a special midsummer campaign. At night, the Big Bang Challenge will cost our intrepid travelers, there's a car going by, a meager fee of only 500 yen. What can I get for you? Take the challenge. Hopefully, we can do it. At this time, our special campaign will not apply. 
You could try for only 500 yen if it were night time. Are you sure you'd like to take the Big Bang Challenge? I'll still do it. Whatever. Certainly. <laughs> now then, go take a seat and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to take the Big Bang Challenge once, once again. So yeah, apparently we did. Since you are currently ranked at third mate, this will be your opponent. Now then. Well then, it's time to get the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go. It looks like there's a whole head of lettuce in there. And the burger's already cold. It looks good, but it's so big. Alright, wait, did it. <laughs> I somehow ate the whole thing. Hey, wait! You did it. <laughs> Congratulations! Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, I present you the Second Mate Badge. Alright, new challenges will await you now that you've become a Second Mate. Please come again. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. I see. Alright, you took that Comet Burger down. You were so admirable, taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. <laughs> Alright, just one, I guess. All right. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. All right, one for what? Intelligence, all right. All right. All right, one for something else. And charm as well, nice. All right. And one for proficiency. It's hard right. to say. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. I'll, I'm full just from watching you. So yeah, that's maybe the best thing to do the big burger challenge. Hmm, who could that be? I'm gonna be on standby at the hideout. I'll bring over a DVD that's perfect for this stinking hot summer. We can watch in your room, yeah? That sells it. See you tomorrow. I guess so. Um, watching uh, DVDs can like increase your charm, so hopefully. First up is the soccer one, then we've got a baseball one here. Oh, and the track and field one. Good stuff, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and watch some movies. Bring on the private showing. Damn, dude. Did you see that through pass? <laughs> Other countries got tons of people who can play this good, right? Man, foreigners are so freaking crazy. You know, I didn't used to be too into soccer, but I sat down and watched a match one day, and now I'm hooked. How about you? What do you like more, soccer or baseball? I guess soccer. <laughs> For real? Are you familiar with it? Know any good matches coming up, or how about some young talent rising up the ranks? I really don't know where to start looking with this stuff. There's so many good teams in the world. Alright, seeing that burning intensity in the faces of the athletes has refined my charm. Three things. Finally, yes. <laughs> Alright. Man, that was great. Makes me feel like going for a run. Uh... 
but I'm getting real thirsty. Think you could make a cup of coffee? Uh, no. I got ladies to hang out with. <laughs> For real? What a bummer. Well, guess I'll head home. Well, thanks for walking me to the station. See ya. Rain, huh? Alright, just a few degrees cooler would do it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. And maybe we can hang out uh, with Makoto or the Soji player next time. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff to do in this game, and I feel like I'm like months behind doing all this stuff, but uh, yeah. We'll see what happens next time. Bye guys.